the Moynes Peninsula as being such an important place to conserve. It's got so many different types of habitats, threatened species and communities that only occur here or are quite unique to these regions. At Trust for Nature, we've recognised the Moynes Peninsula as being such an important place to conserve. I'm Dr Jan Smith and currently living near Rosebud on the Mornington Peninsula. And this site is um, protected by a covenant which was granted by Trust for Nature in January 2019. We realised that we had a little gem, a remnant between two developments, which had a lot of very old and very original plants. I was very keen to get the conservation order from Trust for Nature. A lot of visitors say, oh, you could subdivide and you could do this and that with the land and they don't understand that that's the opposite of our idea, which is to preserve what we've got. We have at least five species of orchids. The most dominant would be the leafy greenhood. I think uh, there's a need for conservation on the Mornington Peninsula because more of it's being bulldozed and we're losing more of the nat na native vegetation. There's a growing sense about what's, what's being left for future generations. Species that become extinct are gone for, uh, forever. We're here today with Trust for Nature, scoping the sites for a possible new covenant. We're looking to get our last remaining one covenant to protect it that little bit more. In the reserve, we're looking at our threatened species program. We're monitoring orchids. So we've got to monitor the leaf emergence, the flower emergence, um, and then we've got a lot of management to this site as well. 30% of our vegetation is already lost on the peninsula. So even these small pockets of bushland play such an important role in the whole landscape context of the peninsula. 57% of all of our remnant vegetation on the peninsula lies within private land. So it's so important to work with our private landholders um, to protect what is left on the peninsula. We're so lucky to have beautiful beaches to foothill forests in Red Hill area. I think we're in a really good place to be able to protect and really build upon the community's interest and get them excited about it because I'm excited. <laughs> We have such a variety of landscapes and ecosystems around here that they're all packed into such a, a tight little bundle that it's a, a really great opportunity to um, protect lots of different things all at the same time. The CMA likes to work in partnership with other organisations and agencies as well as the community to help achieve joint outcomes for the environment. The private land can build those connections and those biolinks where um, species can mingle and you know, improve resilience here on the peninsula. So it's really important for all of the agencies and organisations and private land to be working together. We just love this place. It's so significant. There's lots of bird life here. There's also lots of threatened um, ecological or plant communities that are quite rare and they're only found in places like Tukruk wetland. To protect properties, it may seem like an arduous process, but Trust for Nature worked really well and helped us along the way. And it was a simple process. Seeing people's response, when people come out here, they just go, wow, it's an amazing place. And this is just one part of the peninsula. You can go to anywhere on the peninsula and see amazing things. It's such a fantastic place to be. An ideal future for the conservation of the Mornington Peninsula would be to have it all protected and all private land protected as well. I know that's a big goal, but sometimes you just got to have something to dream of and work towards it. The sites you've seen today protect everything from nationally endangered orchids to internationally recognised water bird species habitat. Trust for Nature is an organisation that works with landholders to protect your property into the future. There's so much more to protect and we'd really like you to get involved if you can. If you know a patch on the peninsula that needs to be protected or perhaps you've got one yourself, please get in contact with us.